Good morning. <laughs> One of these days I'll look good in the intro, but that's just not gonna be today. Good morning though. How are we feeling today? It's a Wednesday here. And I normally never start my vlogs on a Wednesday. I always feel like a Monday or a Tuesday situation, but today we're starting it on Wednesday. My name is Tori D. Simone. Welcome back to my channel. So yeah, it's a Wednesday morning. I teach spin this morning. It's 8.30 now, so I'm gonna leave in like 15 minutes to go to the studio. I'm not gonna film class, but um, I'll film spin. I mean, I'll film when I'm at the studio. Today is just a day full of meetings and phone calls and trainings and not a lot of time to do work that I need to do that's kind of stressing me out. I woke up early this morning to get it done and I did some of it, but I ended up online shopping, which I never really do but I bought a lot of cute new clothes that I'm excited about, so that'll be fun. Let's see, what do we have? This week is kind of boring, honestly. Like, I don't have much to do. Like, I'm going to New York this weekend. I'm going with um, Lauren, who is Stride's manager, who you guys have seen on the vlog before, and our one friend, Allison, which is another one of my employees, but it's also Lauren's best friend, and someone that I love dearly as well, so. We're going to New York this weekend. Tomorrow we just got meetings and lunch, CrossFit tomorrow, um, working tomorrow night, and then Friday, oh, Friday I'm doing a video shoot, which is cool, I'll show you guys the behind the scenes of that. I'm listening to a podcast that I'm super interested in. Oh, tonight I'm gonna go to my parents' new house, so I'll bring you guys with me and we can look at the house, because it's beautiful, so I'm really excited to show you guys that. Anyway, all right, I'm gonna get back to listening to this podcast and I'll catch you guys either in the car or at the studio. This is what I'm wearing. Um, this is just a black top from Lululemon sports bra. I forget what, I think it's um, high neck energy, maybe? I don't really know. Um, and then these are aligned pants. Don't kill me if you know that you're not supposed to spin in lines. They're the aligned pants, but they're just the black camo pants. And then I'm obviously just gonna wear some spin shoes with it. We got this mirror at Stride, and I think it's a skinny mirror, because I always look so skinny in this mirror, but nothing else. Hey, Mom. Love you. I barely filmed today at the studio because just because I was like in and out really quick um, because I have a meeting at noon and it's 11 so I want to go home and change and eat and shower and do all that. So I was kind of in and out today so I didn't really get to film much at the studio. But <sighs> I'm going to head home now. Made a big salad for lunch. If you guys know me, this is like my favorite salad. Kale, avocado, hummus with uh, sauteed Brussels sprout shavings and I guess they're kind of caramelized and white rice, craisins, sliced almonds, and a blush wine vinaigrette. This is what I'm wearing for, I just have meetings today and then I'm spinning later tonight. So these pants are Lululemon in movement pants. This is a Lululemon energy black bra and then just a stride cropped sweatshirt. Um, I've been like having a hard time finding the perfect leggings. Like you guys know that I love Lulu and they're definitely my favorite brand almost make the perfect pant. Like I haven't found the perfect pant yet. Um, I actually ordered a ton this morning. I said that I went online shopping. I ordered like um, a bunch of different like pants and leggings and shorts and stuff like that. Um, I know like exactly what I want, but it's not, it's just not made yet. So we all know how I am. So who knows what I'm gonna do with that information. I just like, it's not made yet. And it's almost made. Like I have this one pant material that is perfect, but it's not right. It's like, it's the perfect material, but the execution wasn't, like it just can be done so much better. So I don't know, I ordered a bunch of clothes to hopefully find like the perfect pant, but I'll let you guys know. What I, when I get the clothes in, I'll do a haul. And I'll let you guys know what I think. Cause I'm just like looking for the right thing. Going to, um my lawyer's office looking like this whatever but right now i'm headed over to a different office because i have a call and i need to take it with my mom so we're just meeting up at my dad's office and you don't want to do the call i don't <laughs> i don't feel like it why because it's no fun giving someone bad news it's not bad news it's just not the news he wants to hear i just saw this photo though when i walked in which is why i wanted to vlog look at how little i was my dad used to be really big into triathlons, so he made us all do one together. Wait, was that. this a triathlon? Yeah, that was the, the hillbilly one, where I won the TV. I didn't 
do anything. You did. You ran. I just did a leg of it, right? Yeah, you did the leg. You ran. Who swam? No swim. It was kayak, remember? Maddie kayaked. And you biked? And I biked. And I ran. Hmm. And Dad did the whole thing. Welcome to Verizon Wireless. Your call can now be completed as time. Do you still wear your thingies at night? No. My cleaning ladies threw it away. <laughs> no. And I just want them to be worn at night. I don't want to wear them during the day. That's what Smile Direct is. Oh. They're just nighttime aligners. Smile Direct, if you're watching this, please send retainers to us. <laughs> my cleaning ladies threw mine away and my mom's broke. Broke. There's somebody. Hello. Hello. Hey, is that Karen Hello? Tori? Yep, Karen yes. and Tori, you're here. Okay. Bye, All right. everybody. Bye, guys. Bye-bye. So much has happened. <laughs> Hi, Pete. Hi. Hey, how's it going? We're good. We're good. Meeting adjourned. One meeting down, one to go. Now I'm going to my lawyers and my mom is going home with going the dog. With the dog. And then we're gonna eat pizza tonight in her new house and I'll show you guys. I just got to my lawyer's office. I'm obviously not gonna film inside because it's legal stuff that should be kept confidential. So um, I won't film it, but I'm so hungry. So after this, I'm gonna go to um, this little shop right up the street called Gangster Vegan, and I'm gonna get something to eat, whether it's like, I think I'm gonna get like a sweet potato because that's big. Sweet potato, maybe a smoothie, maybe some power energy balls, maybe all three. Oh, okay. Or you get 20 visits for $900. Holy shit. Price. I'm at the studio now, it's just me. And you guys saw that I was eating the sweet potato. I didn't even show it to you, I was so hungry. I devoured the whole thing. And that's so good, because I don't think I'm gonna eat until after spin tonight. I'm not teaching, but I'm just riding in class. So that'll be really good. I feel really fueled and really good for spin, but it was just a sweet potato on a bed of kale with black beans, pickled cabbage, which I normally don't like that, but I love it on the sweet potato. And then cashew cheese and sunflower seed cheese, which I'm really not supposed to eat sunflower seeds, so maybe I shouldn't have done that with the black beans to see like what works and what doesn't, but I feel good. I'm just bloated today in general because of what I ate last night, so I still feel, feel, feel really good though. And then in addition to that, I also got um, goji berry balls, and that had like Himalayan pink salt in it, goji berries, sunflower seeds, cashews, walnuts, stuff like it was just like a ball. And I had, there were three of those, and I had all three of them before I ate the sweet potato. I was so hungry. I kind of want to cancel everything that I'm doing tomorrow and just work tomorrow. On, that's really what I should do. I think I'm going to have to do it because I, like I have like two meetings tomorrow, but they can be canceled or rescheduled. So I really think I need to do that. Hi, Tor. Hi, Mom. How'd it, how'd it go? Good. It was so fast. Okay. So, I have homework to do, which actually I need to write that down in my to-do list. Hang on. Now, if you, I mean, then what happens when you have 25 locations of studios or whatever, and then you go into franchising? Who owns the franchise of all the studio locations? That I didn't ask. But I can ask him that. Right. So, if I create a different company, like, it... He, no, you're right. You know? Right. It's a party! Yeah, yeah. Woohoo! And I'm taking oh, your class. Oh, <laughs> Wait, are we gonna go there oh, this that's weekend? What they gave us? Yes. yes. Are you kidding me? Lauren, we're going to Porta. Oh, Wait, somebody posted. Okay. Who was it? You? Right. Somebody posted right. something on Instagram about whatever it is, like Rachel a spin class being like a bar, like and I tagged rich. Porta and I said, right. "I am you and on a bike," and they liked it. First spin class. We're doing sprints. No. And I watched everybody try to sprint and just drop. Like, no, everybody's hands went down. They lost it. And I was like, I'm sorry. Like, I don't think that helped you guys. But, like, we had so many times. Holy shit. She goes, I'm an acquired taste. And if you don't like me, acquire some taste. My battery's dying. That's so lame. I'll film on my phone. This is so lame that my camera's dying. Oh. I got a foam roll. I'll talk to you while I foam roll. I just woke up. My camera died yesterday when I was at the studio. You guys saw that. That was at like 4.30 or something. Like it was pretty early in the day. Um, and I was kind of 
mad that it died because I wanted to show you guys a lot more of yesterday. Oh, I took spin class. I took one of my instructor's spin classes, Rachel. So fun. And then I then went to my parents' new house. I'm like rolling all over the floor. Um, I just got takeout from Zoe's kitchen. I had the falafel wraps. Um, and then at nine, I had to go back to the studio because our sound guy came, so I had to fix our sound. Oh my, God, my lower back, this feels so bad. I had to fix our sound. Well, I didn't, the sound guy did, so I had to like go let him in and stuff. And he only works late at night, so he had to come at nine to do that. Then I didn't get home until like 10, so I had um, to do like to-do lists and like nighttime stuff, so I got in bed at like 10.30, and I was exhausted, and I was like, you know what? I canceled all of my meetings today, so I just have the day at home to literally just work today, and I'm so happy that I did that. So I have the whole day to just work, and oh my God, that hurts so good. So I was like, I'm gonna sleep in, until seven, which I did, thank God. Sleep in until seven, and then we'll just work from home today. I'll probably go to a coffee shop to work too, because I get bored when I just stay at home all day, and I am more productive when I like leave the house sometimes, and like I'm gonna start at home, get things started, um, and do like things that I don't need to talk to other people about, and then when I need to like talk to other people, I'm gonna like go to a coffee shop and like then get on like my phone and like text and stuff and like figure things out via text. Yeah, I'm really sorry that my camera died yesterday. I was so annoyed. But yeah, yesterday was literally just a really long day of meetings and you guys heard on the phone that I'm working on a couple really exciting projects that I can talk about like any point, I guess. I just don't wanna talk about it yet because I don't wanna jinx myself yet. I've been so ravenously hungry that I'm hoping having an off day today will kinda of like chill my system out a little bit because I've been doing two a days every day. Like I did um, CrossFit Spin Monday, CrossFit Spin Tuesday, two Spin Wednesday, and then nothing today, just maybe lifting at night, which is fine because I can just have a big meal at night. Um, so I'm hoping that this will kind of just like chill out my metabolism. It's gonna be a great day. It's Thursday. It's 7 35 in the morning It's gonna be a great day. I think I'm just gonna like make my office a dungeon today lay the candle in there and Only come out for food water and to pee change of plans. I'm now I'm no longer going to New York We're gonna go to Philly now, but we're gonna get a hotel and stuff, which will be really fun. So anyway, okay Good morning, let's let's get on with our day. This is what I mean when I say dungeon. So it's actually light outside. But I have blackout curtains, which makes such a difference. Just lit a candle, and then I just have my laptop lighting up my desk. And this is the best, most productive work environment ever. It's so good. Hi guys, when did I talk to you? 7.30? It's now 11.30. So, I've just been in the dungeon working. It smells great in here, if you're wondering. It smells really good. So I'm kind of like annoyed because, not that annoyed, there's bigger problems. But my Wi-Fi like was no good at my house and I don't know why, so I called Xfinity and I was like, hey, I need faster Wi-Fi, whatever. So they got me like this new package that's actually cheaper and I was like, oh my God, awesome. So I'm on this new plan now, and I just want to go upload a video that I edited, and it like said it was gonna take six hours to upload, and I'm like, oh my God, that's like the same as before. So annoying, but I'll just go to like a Starbucks to upload it, and if that doesn't work, I'll just go to Stride to upload it, but weird, right? I don't care. Anyway, um, yeah, it's like 11.30 now, so I think I'm gonna change and start to head out to do a lot of other things. Um, and like go to a coffee shop to work there and upload this video. And then I'm gonna come home and edit my podcast and just finish up the last couple of things at home tonight. And then maybe go to the gym if I feel like it later. All right, I'm gonna go somewhere, but I'll figure it out. I always go in these phases where I'm like, do I wanna go out somewhere to like work or do I just wanna stay home? I just ate and now I'm like just in the mood to stay home. So I think I'm just gonna stay home for a little bit, but I am gonna go out later to upload the video when no one's at the studio. So that I don't get sidetracked, but I'm gonna stay here for a little bit. Um, just do, I have a lot of work to do on the to-do list today. So I'm finding myself just like scrolling on my phone and getting distracted. So I think I need to do my dishes and leave my house and go to the studio so that I can upload my video and get, just get out of the house a little bit. This is what I slept in. This is what I'm gonna wear because no one's there. So cool. I think I'm just reliving yesterday's vlog because I'm, or yesterday's 
footage because I'm literally exactly back where I was this time yesterday. I think I'm going to get an external Wi-Fi. Like here we have a Verizon Wi-Fi, but then we have an Orbi, which is just like another system of Wi-Fi. So I think I'm going to get that for home so that um, I can just pay for faster Wi-Fi. Now 3.30 and there's no way that I'm going home before people start coming to the studio. Lauren's going to be here any second. So I guess I'll just stay, but I did get a lot of work done, so that's good. The video went up. I'm going to make it public in like 30 minutes, but by the time this is up, it's already been public for a while now. Lauren just got here, and she went to Urban and bought clothes for the Christmas party that Stride's oh, having. Baby. Oh, baby! Backless! Who is she? Oh, that's so cute. That is so you. Isn't it? That's cute. I have to get it. And you got 20% off. 20% off. I would have had to pay 148. Laura, that's so cute. Oh my god, that's so you! And it's cropped! I, I love that. Do you want sweet aloha? Oh! Yeah. How far from the studio are you? Um, I'm on 202. I don't I probably won't have time. I might have time to pick it up. If it's like ready by the time I get there, but not to like stand there and like order it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Okay, bye. Bad bitch, I'm a run. <laughs> they said my name and they were like Tori, and I was like, Yeah, how'd you know? But then I remember that I was in their system. <laughs> You're like, Hi, I gave my phone number and they were like, Tori, and I was like, Yeah. Where am I turning? It's not yet. Are you okay? What happened? Hang on. I'm trying to get the spinach out of the shower now. I'm making a mess. Holy shit. There's <laughs> 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 spinach everywhere. <laughs> well, good luck with that one. <laughs> I don't know who that is and what if Wait, I Wait, look. Julio for Julio. They wrote Tori S on my bowl. It's on your account, Tori. But I never gave them my last name. So the girl working wrote Sterling. Your last name on your account? No, no, and if I did, I wouldn't tell them Sterling. Well, I, know that. I don't know. I guess she I filled it they for were me. Awaiting you to come in, and it was me. What a letdown. <laughs> she was late to work because of it, so <laughs> one strike. Oh, it's not my fault. I said, I said I'm gonna be late. If you want it, it's up to you. You're the boss. I so made her pick up. Balls. I can open without you. <laughs> Doesn't do anything. <laughs> I literally did nothing. I just sat up here. They changed like the whole inside of it. I haven't been in there in a while. Oh, they did? Not like really. Just like the wall stuff. Oh. We got it. She so got the new phone. I'm kind of like late on it though. I just got the notification that I can get my new phone, but I don't feel like doing it. So annoying to go get a new one. I was literally there for two hours. Yeah. But I, I honestly just wanted a new watch. If anyone wants this, <laughs> I'm selling it. Ow. <laughs> Hi, Lord. Wait, look at the snap. Look at Snapchat on here. Like, look how it makes your face look. Like, it looks really clear. Whoa! Did you want to take it? Wait, Snapchat this girl. She loves you. that up really quick. Jules works where, where, very hard. Where's half the footage coming from your videos? Me, who's working hard? Me. Jules works hard on every aspect. She loves the camera, she loves stride. The lighting is so bad on Yeah, me. it's not good for either of us. No, it looks better on you, I think it's... Oh, this is cute lighting. Odd fashion, look, look it up. up. Oh my god. What's it like? Do you like that? if my toes are pointed? <laughs> Do you look like, like the fucking photo shoot? 
when I got my stride headshot, I sat like this. Stop. I can't even do it. My I have the video. My toe was all the way up. Wait, why? Why? Because you're a Wait, dancer. And Tori, why? And Tori snorted when she said. <laughs> I have to show you this video. It is the funniest thing. Fifty-two. You're spinning at seven. I'm spinning in jeans. Okay. Yeah, Carla, she's spinning in like normal Don't clothes. Don't you think, listen to this. So imagine Lauren on the bike and me standing next to her on the mic. Just like yeah. saying everything and Lauren is like announced, like her <laughs> doing it. Don't jeans? you think that would be fun? In your jeans? Yeah, but like I was just like the talent and Lauren was like the act actor, yeah. talent actor. You're the voice, she's I the body. Yeah. <laughs> So my plan of leaving quickly did not happen. I did get a lot of my work done. Like I got pretty much everything done, all the big stuff done, except recording my podcast, but that's fine because I could do that on Sunday. Um, but I just left and it's 7 p.m. and I got there at like 2.30. That's just what happens, man. Like I just hang out there because all the I just have so much fun with the girls as you guys see and they're just, they're my friends. I'm headed home now. I had um, an acai bowl. It's not really awesome. It was like mango, but I had a pumpkin bowl. So I'm not that hungry for dinner, which is good because I've been eating like, literally all day. So I think I'm just gonna have like peppermint tea and make my to-do list, make my plans for the morning and just like chill for the rest of the night, shower, tan, da -da, do all that stuff. And then just like go to bed. So, and I might do CrossFit in the morning, but I'm gonna continue the vlog into tomorrow because I just want to have good content for you guys. And I feel like this was kind of boring today because I just pretty much worked and then hung out with my friends for like all the day at the studio. But I, I ended up doing a lot of work. So I can't spend me. I'm justifying everything that I'm saying right now. Anyway, I'm gonna drive home, which I am doing right now. And I'll see you guys at home. Hi guys. <laughs> So it's not Friday or Saturday or Sunday, it's actually Monday. So this vlog is now four days later, but that's all right. I did film on Friday, but this is the footage that I had. So I'm like on my way to the studio right now and I was driving and I felt something wrong. So I pulled over cause I felt like I got a flat tire. I got out, none of my tires look flat but it sounds like a flat tire. So I called Eric, which is Jess's husband and they're gonna come like check it out and see what I have to do. But now I don't know what to do about the shoot. So I don't know, I'll figure it out. But I think I have a flat tire. So definitely wasn't my best moment. So after that, I just like turned off the camera and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go home. I was supposed to go to like a photo shoot, but I just went home, rescheduled the shoot, and um, ended up going to bed super, I guess, early. So that was really nice. I was reading the comments on my last video, and pretty much everyone was like, why did you change your name from Sterling to DeSimone? So I'm going to explain that now. I explained this on my Instagram, like I wanna say a month and a half, like almost two months ago. Um, yeah, like a month and a half ago. So. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, I posted this picture with the whole caption as to why. So pretty much the reason that I changed my name, um, I didn't actually change my name. So my full name is Victoria Sterling Simone. So Sterling is my middle name and always has been. And I think a lot of people are thrown off that that's my middle name because it sounds like a last name because it was a last name. It was my Nana's maiden name. So it is a last name, but it's my middle name. So I just always have gone by my middle name. When I started on YouTube eight years ago, when did I start? Seven years ago, something like that, something crazy like that. My mom was like, you can't say your first name, you can't say your last name. So eventually when I started having to say my name online or I got like deals and stuff, I just used my middle name, kind of for safety. So I just branded myself at a really young age of Tori Sterling and you know, that was always just like my thing. It was like my alter ego almost. Like I, Tori D. Simone was like normal. I felt like Hannah Montana. Like I was normal, I went to school, I did all like the normal things. But then I went online and now it's Tori Sterling and I like had this like career online and 
traveling the country and doing like all these really cool things like I even remember so vividly like when I was living out in LA I was on FaceTime with my friend Adam and when I was in LA any everyone called me Tori Sterling like I don't even know if my friends knew that my last name was DeSimone like everyone just called me Tori Sterling so when I was on FaceTime with a friend from back home he was like Tori DeSimone and I was like holy shit I haven't heard that name in a really long time so I really identified myself with Tori Sterling Fast forward to like a year and a half, two years ago, when I started building Stride. That was sort of my turning point of becoming like a YouTuber to becoming a real life entrepreneur. And like starting a business, running a business, everything like that. And you know, soon after Stride came out, in the spin world, I was Tori DeSimone. I wasn't this YouTube Tori Sterling sensation. Um, that's what, like, I hate that word, but like, I feel like that's the best way to like explain it. I wasn't like a YouTuber that was opening up a spin studio. I was just Tori DeSimone that was opening up a spin studio. Do you know what I mean? So then once the studio was open, it got a lot of recognition and it got a lot of publications written about it. And it was, you know, Tori DeSimone this, Tori DeSimone that. And I was like, wow, this is really cool. Like Tori DeSimone is building this brand. And then the more that I would hear people talk about me and Stride and like the business itself, when it was people that didn't know Tori DeSimone personally and they would say like, oh, Tori Sterling opened up a spin studio. To me, I was like, I Tori Sterling didn't. Like Tori DeSimone did. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. It's just like a new chapter of my life and it has nothing to do with YouTube. Even though YouTube got me, to have a backing, to have a recognition, to make something of myself. Tori Sterling was the YouTuber that did makeup on online and you know went to LA and traveled the country. Tori De Simone is the one that sits at home and like does boss ass shit, opens up businesses, wants to build this brand to something huge. Like that's what Tori De Simone does. To me, my life as is now completely changed and I no longer say that I'm a YouTuber. I do this like on the side. Um, just to kind of keep connecting with you guys. When I podcast, it's Tori D. Simone. Instagram, like, literally will not let me change my username or else I would have already changed it to Tori D. Simone, but it's like, it just doesn't let me. And it says contact Instagram support when Instagram support, like, literally just doesn't even exist. Like, when I look at photos like this girl, that is Tori Sterling. The girl that has dark hair in her parents' bedroom making YouTube videos. This, to me, isn't Tori Sterling. This is Tori D. Simone. I write it really well in this caption because I spent like I think like a couple weeks writing this caption. So if you guys want to get just like a cliff note version, I would check out this post. But um, it's pretty much just a new chapter of my life and I'm just choosing to go by my last name now instead of my middle name. It's just a little rebranding if you will. So it's still me. I'm still the same person. I'm just using my actual last name instead of my middle name. So yeah, I hope you guys... Um, kind of understand and know that it's not that big of a deal but it's just a rebranding and it's me coming into my new age and it's me coming into myself and it's me just rediscovering myself instead of identifying by the the 16 15 14 17 18 year old girl that I that I that I was that I no longer am anyway I hope you guys all enjoyed this and I will talk to you guys all in my next video be sure to follow my Instagram it's at Tori Sterling underscore Hopefully one day it'll be Tori D. Simone, but Instagram doesn't let me. So Instagram, if you're watching, which you're not, please let me change my username. And um, yeah, I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. And I'll talk to you guys very soon. Bye.